Hi gorgeous, today I'm sharing six very popular beauty trends that we are going to start seeing in 2018. I'll show you a tutorial for one of these trends and then I'll talk about each of the other ones while we are going through this video. So it's going to be more of a chatty tutorial. What I'm showing you today is a very natural look. Skin is in for 2018 and that heavy contour heavy highlighter that we saw in 2017 is on its way out. So instead of looking like you're wearing a mask, you want to really bring the natural beauty out. And what better way to do that than to begin with a really great skincare regimen. By the way, this video is sponsored by Shiseido. I would like to say that to you up front. I'm going to be using one of their moisturizers that just came out this month. This is available for $48. The one I'm using is the Shiseido Essential Energy Moisturizing Gel Cream. And the texture is very silky, smooth, extremely lightweight and soft feeling on the skin. And even though it's in a jar, what I do like about Shiseido is that they provide a little spatula so you don't have to stick your fingers in there and get the product out. Now there are three essential energy moisturizers that Shiseido has come out with this line and they all feature something called Renura technology. Now what is that? Well, it's a fancy way of saying that it provides your skin's ability to fight environmental stressors in real time. So it prevents damage from happening from environmental factors. And I absolutely love the scent of this moisturizer. It has hints of jasmine, rose, and a little bit of pear mixed in there. It's simply divine and it's made to be calming when you breathe it in and it definitely does have that effect. It makes you feel like you're at a spot, has that kind of smell to it. And I have been using this in the morning and at night as my moisturizer of the moment and I apply it everywhere on the face and the neck especially. And at night, I like to apply it onto my chest because that's another area that ages and also needs to be protected. The other quality I love so much about this moisturizer is that it sinks in almost immediately. It doesn't sit there on your skin and make it feel greasy, which is to me, a really important factor, especially when applying it before your makeup. I'm gonna step outside of my regular routine if you've watched a bunch of my tutorials. And you know, I usually do my eyes first and my face last, but because we're going for a natural skin is in look, I would do my face first. And I am starting off with the Dr. Jart BB Cream. I haven't used this stuff in a while, but I remember I really loved it. They're products that'll cover up little imperfections that you may have in the skin, but they're very lightweight and it's not like you're packing a bunch of foundation on to wear a mask. And for my under eye concealer, I'm gonna stick with an old favorite. You can't go wrong with it. And that is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And one of the other trends that's really popular for 2018 this year is purple, because a lot of you know that Pantone announced that ultraviolet is the color of the year. So you're going to see a lot of purple from what I've been reading. And we're talking hair, eyes, lips, face, everywhere, which I think is utterly fabulous. Having purple under eyes is not so cute, but usually purple is really good elsewhere. Now I'm taking the residual from the sponge of the concealer and I'm going to go up here and conceal those veins in my lids. I'm so fair, everything shows through. You can see the difference right there with this eye. It's amazing. And for the eyes, I do want a little bit of something. I'm gonna keep it very natural, but I don't want them to just look like that. So I am adding in one of the Tom Ford cream color for eyes, and this is in the shade Opal. It is such a beautiful color when you apply it all over the eyes sparingly and then blend it out. Kind of like one of Max paint pots, but has a little bit of shimmer mixed in here. One of the other trends for 2018 is gold highlighter. Do you remember that sleek palette I talked about in a video back in December that had that yellow blush in it? Let me see if I can find it, hang on a second. This one right here. Remember this yellow blush that I said was just completely awful and how are you gonna use that? Well, several of you brought it to my attention when you were seeing how they were using it. I think it was on Snapchat actually. And yellow is being used as a highlighter in 2018, believe it or not. I mean, it's really beautiful in some of the pictures that I've seen. I don't know that I would pull it off myself. I mean, if you have the coloring for it, I say go for it. But they're taking it and using it like on the Cupid's bow, the bridge of the nose, 
the tops of the cheeks, on the inner corners of the eyes, basically anywhere that you would use traditional highlighter, that's how it's being used. I do really like it on the inner corner of the eye, and I may try a look with it like that. That would be the only way I would wear it personally, though. And Fenty Beauty has come out with a gold metallic pigmented highlighter specifically for this trend. It's called Trophy Wife. I am going to take my ring finger and blend the edges out so there isn't a strict line there. I'm going to set my face with a powder quickly <laughs> before everything falls into my lap here because I'm just oily by nature. If you wanted to leave it dewy so it looks very fresh and glowy, that's completely up to you. Us oily girls, we really can't get away with that, so we have to set it faster than we can speak. I'm using a long comb powder to do it today, but I'm using a very light dusting. I'm not going to pack it on. I'm not going to make the face matte, like super matte, like I normally would. And for the brows, I am going to stick with a favorite of mine that I discovered in 2017. This is the Sephora Brow Pencil in the shade Auburn. I do draw my brows thicker because they are so thin naturally. It's just, you know, everybody's brow shape is different. And I draw them a little thicker in because it gives a more youthful appearance. I'm just sharing what I do. So it's really up to you. I mean, you have to do what gives you confidence. That's what I feel like. If trends are not your thing, nobody's saying you have to follow them. I'm just simply giving you the information so you can make a decision either way. I have taken a blow dryer to my lash curler here, which if I hadn't done that, you wouldn't be able to see my lashes. It really helps to curl your lashes and keep the curl in place. For my mascara, I am using L'Oreal's Lash Paradise in their waterproof formula. Love this stuff. One of the other trends I read about for 2018 is applying rhinestones, gems, and sequins to the eyes inner corners, in the middle of the lower lashes, outer corners, wherever you want to add some interest to your eyes. I thought that was a very, for lack of a better word, interesting trend to see. It reminded me of some of the looks we saw in the 90s. I know Gwen Stefani did that in a few of her music videos. I think Britney Spears did it too. I mean, trends are cyclical. It's amazing how quickly and how slowly sometimes too, some of these things come back full circle. Now, if you're wondering how you would adhere something like that to your eyes, you just take a little bit of eyelash glue, stick it on the piece that you want to put on your face and you treat it like you would false eyelashes. You let the glue set for about 30 seconds till it becomes tacky and then you apply it. I've actually only ever done that once and it was for that angelic ethereal makeup tutorial that I did a couple years ago. I did little rhinestones in the corners of the eyes. It was a really beautiful look and it did give it that angelic feel. So maybe that's what they're going for. If you wanted to do something a little extra with it too, you could take a little bit of like a white highlighter, put it on the inner corner and then add a rhinestone. That's really pretty. And to finish the face here, I'm adding a orange tinted blush. I'm going with this one from Too Faced. It's from their Sweet Peach Glow Palette. It's the shade in the middle, and it's a really light, really pretty orange on the cheeks. Last two trends you may see in 2018 when it comes to beauty are metallic everything. Metallic eyes, metallic lips. I wouldn't be surprised if they came out with a metallic blush of some kind. That would be really pretty though, actually. And the other trend is a pop of color. So what they're doing is swiping a block of color, but they're blending it. It's not looking like 80s or anything. And they're applying it only on the eyes or the lips. I mean, it's just this bold pop of color applied somewhere to the face and keeping the rest of the face looking natural. So instead of adding really big lashes and doing that cake face with this big pop of color, it's a very natural way to use color, if that makes sense. I'm showing you pictures here so you can get an idea of what I'm describing. I thought it was a really unique take on this kind of trend. It keeps it from looking 80s and it brings it to a more updated, modern, fresh look. And I am not going to add anything to the lips. I'm gonna keep them completely natural. When I started this video, I was wearing the Jack Black lip balm. So I may reapply a little bit more of that, but there you go.
So if you've been looking for a way to revamp your makeup for 2018, maybe the natural look is for you. And I hope that it did help inspire you if it's something that you find attractive. Are you going to be participating in any of the trends for 2018? I know I will. I'm definitely doing the purple. That is right up my alley. I'm gonna do everything purple that I can. I may try the gold highlighter. I'm definitely going to be doing the rhinestones and the gems. You may see that in a couple videos here shortly because that just sounds like a lot of fun. So let me know which one sounded attractive to you or if you just beat the bang to your own drum. Beat the bang to your own drum. I need to go to bed. Thank you for taking the time to sit down with me today. I hope you found this video helpful, entertaining, whatever the case may be. Special thank you again to Shiseido for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate it. And please subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos like this in the future. See you again next time.